Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I uh, just wanted to show you a, um, a script I'm working on for a different type of charting. I'm actually using candlestick, but I'm actually using two different candlesticks. Uh, one to pull down, let's say Yahoo, and another one to pull down uh, for, uh, for GM. Now these are from Yahoo Finance. Um, I'm gonna just run it so uh, you can get talk, you know, show you the effects of this script. So this is the script itself. Um, this one, I'm not sure which one's which, but labeling and uh, uh, this, this is the big problem here is the uh, dates that I need to work on. But uh, the cool thing is that it's got some pretty cool uh, scaling capabilities and zooming, which is kind of nice. Um, so I'm planning to work with this uh, in some of my more advanced charting. Uh, and uh, as soon as I can fix this, as well as, uh, I'm not sure what's causing these lines, um, but uh, this seems to be some kind of bug or something. Uh, yeah, again, I'm not gonna worry about stuff like that at this point. Um, so I'm just gonna continue working away at this script. But what we're dealing with here is in the code itself is this data frames. Um, so let me just show you the typical data that I'm pulling down, it looks like. So letting it run. Okay, so let me just skip this one. Okay, so if I look at my data, data one that is, um, data one. Okay, so what we're dealing with is typical, uh, we've got 390 rows being pulled down. So these are all end of day. And each one is basically um, the open and high and low and close, as you would get in a typical bar from, um, in my case, Yahoo. So this does kind of work. I wanted to show you that um, as well as the chart as well. Now, what I'm using as the package to drive that is, I've talked about this before, is the Pi DT graph. Now, as it stands right now, um, I still gotta worry about a couple of requirements for this script, um, but uh, as it stands right now, um, as long as I can save those those candlesticks to a, to a chart and add in some other uh, elements specifically fixing the date problem, uh, then this is definitely the preferred um, Python package I'd rather go with than the standard math plotlet. So I just wanna show you that. If you have any idea how to fix this kind of problem uh, in terms of the dates, do let me know. Um, I have been looking at various uh, methodologies and they don't seem to work too well. Thanks and I'll talk to you later.